Hello everyone, my name is Satvik and welcome back to another Python programming video. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about automorphic number. So what do you mean by this? A number is called an automorphic number if and only if square of the given number ends with the same number itself. Let's discuss it with an example. First, we will take the case of 76. So the square of 76 is 5776. It is ending with 76, which is the number itself. So 76 is equal to 76. That is why it is an automorphic number. Let's take another example. Uh, in this case, we have taken 23. Square of 23 is 29. It is not ending with 23. In, that is, 29 is not equal to 23. That is why it is not an automorphic number. Now we will see in Python how we can uh, check whether a number is automorphic or not. Uh, today I have made two programs. One by one we will check uh, see both the programs and after that we will see which program is more convenient. First check, uh, first we will check this program. In this program we have initialized a variable n which will take the user input. So let's give the user input as 25. And we have taken another variable num which is going to store the value of n. The, the value of n is 25. So the, uh, now the value of num will become 25. We have taken another variable sq which is square. Square is equal to n into n. Now the value of square will become 625 because 25 into 25 is 625. We have taken an, uh, we have also taken one more variable which is t and the value of t is initially 10. We have taken a boolean which is equal equal uh, boolean is equal uh, initially the value of equal is uh, false. We can also take flag instead of this and we have to keep the value of flag as initially as 0. So uh, whether you take flag or whether you take a boolean value after that we are going to print square of n is uh, square so it, in this case we are going to get square of 25 is 625 now it is going to check the condition while n is greater than 0 yes in this case 25 is greater than 0 yes we can say that 25 is greater than 0 so it is going to enter in this uh, loop uh, in this while loop so now we are checking for uh, now we have taken another variable r which is equal to square mod 10 here in this case the value of square is uh, 625, 625 mod 10, so we are getting 5 as the output. Now it is going to check for, again check for the condition num is equal to r, the value of num is 25, 25 equal to r, no 25 is not equal to 5, so it is not going to break here and now we are getting n divided by 10, the value of n is 25, 25 divided by 10 it is going to give us 2 and the value of t is, t is equal to t into 10, initially the value of t was 10. 10 into 10 is now the value of t has become 100. Again, it will go into the loop. The value of uh, n has become 2. 2 is greater than 0. Yes, it is going to enter in this loop. Now the value of r is e r is equal to uh, square mod t. The value of t has now become 100. So square is 625. 625 mod 100. It is going to give us 25 as the output. Now we will again check the condition. Num is equal to r. Yes, here we can say that. In this case, uh, 25 is equal to 25. So it is going to break, and the value of e uh, the value of e uh, equal the, the the boolean which we have taken it's updated to true, and it is going to break. Now we will again check the condition if equal the value of equal is now become true. So it is going to print the number is palindrome as the output. If it is false, it is going to print the number is not automorphic as the output. Let's run this code. First, we will enter the number as 25. The well, square of 25 is 625. The number is automorphic. We are getting it. Uh, let's take another example. Uh, we will take the number as 76. The square of 76 is 5776. The number is automorphic. We are getting it. Now we will take a number that is not automorphic. Uh, we can say that 78. The square of 78 is 6084. The number is not automorphic as the output. So this is the first program with which, with the help of which we can find whether a number is automorphic or not. We also have another program uh, and in this program, this is more kind of Python kind of program. Uh, so in this program, we have also initialized a variable and, uh, and we will give the user input as 25 and we will store the value of n in num variable. So the value of num variable will become 25. Similarly, we have taken a square value, a square variable and we will store the value of n into n which is 625 in it and we are going to print a square of 25 is 625 as the output. Uh, 
these steps are similar to the previous program now what we are doing here we are converting the integer value into string value because it is going to help us in comparing so we are comparing the num value num is equal to string num we are comparing the value of 25 into string and uh, similarly we are uh, square is equal to string of square we are com uh, we are converting the value integer value of square into the string value of square now we have a built in method that is ends with methods with the help of which we are checking if a uh, square dot ends with num uh, what is what it means if 6 uh, we can say that if 625 ends with 25 so it is going to print the number is automorphic as it is going to print the number is not automorphic as the output let's check it whether it runs or not we will take an example 76 so square of 76 is 5776 so we are getting the number is automorphic as the output now we will check for the 25 so the value of 25 it is going to give 625 yes the number is automorphic again we will check for the uh, the number which is not automorphic so the number is 67 let's say 84489 the number is not automorphic as uh, so we can see that both programs run uh, both both programs are running fine but the difference is this program is more uh, python related and that program is more uh, that uh, this program is building more logic so it depends on you whether you should go for uh, this program or uh, this program both programs are fine it depends on you so i hope you like this video so thanks for watching